Hello everyone, I am Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Plague Town, in which we have a traveling festival showing up. We have five people that still have the wet flu epidemic, I, I believe. Hopefully we're almost done with the epidemic. It's been rather brutal, our happiness has taken a major hit, and our graveyard has filled up quite a bit. Oh, here come some more dead people. Oh, here come more dead people. Man, we're gonna have to build a whole new graveyard. You inconsiderate bastards dying of the plague. Have they cleaned out the market square? No, nope, there's still a bunch of dead people around here. Cops just walking by. You know, that's how the plague is. I don't get paid to pick them up. That's someone else's job. Oh, down to three infected people. Oh, we can research something new. Let us research... So many things we could use. Ooh, we could do this one. Wagon train capacity one. Increase the amount of resources in each wagon train by 15%. Because we, for us to get another train line running, we need to essentially upgrade this, but we need bricks to upgrade this, and we don't have any brick production yet. We will soon, because last time we built a brickyard. You can see there are workers working there now. Uh oh. Oh, God, that guy just left work and died. I was gonna be like, there's not enough green at work. He's like, not, not enough stuff to do for work today. I guess I'll die. Oh, man, come on. We gotta get done with this stupid infection. Was he the. Maybe that's why the infected are going down because they're dying? Wait, he just got picked up too. Factory equipment wears out over time. High deterioration reduces production efficiency and increases the trauma chance of his employees. Factories must be repaired regularly to reduce uh, deterioration. How the fuck do I do that? Is there like a repair guy I gotta hire? I don't see any repair button. I see efficiency and re deterioration. These places are wearing out. Renovate? Is that what I gotta use? None of these other ones have renovate on them. This is our first uh, business, though, I think. So it's probably the worst case. Oh, somebody died of intoxication because there's people who still have the alcohol poisoning. Or the food poisoning. From the L ale house. There are some beds available in the hospital, though. Uh, you can see the intoxication cases are going down, as are the infection cases. Like, one more dose, I think, and we'll be good. And then maybe we could make a stock market and sell the vaccine to other areas. Like, I'm not against selling the vaccine. It's just, I think we need to cure our own people first. Because you can't have all these people dying everywhere. That's bad for business. Finally, we've gotten rid of this damned sickness. Now we can visit secular evenings again without worrying about getting ill. Now you can spend even more time surrounded by beautiful dancers. Cheers! Can't you think about anything else except for a debauchery spree? Come on, you want to have a little debauchery, Jack? No? All right. We did it! The wet flu is vanquished. Thank you, Doctor. You saved my life. The last patient is cured. Oh, and we got bricks going. We can upgrade the palace soon. We need more wood. And we need more bricks. We can't even store more wood. We can't even store enough wood for that. So we need another warehouse. Boop, 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 boop. I don't remember what it's under. Small warehouse. And we need that for materials. Because we need to get this wood number up to, what was it, 1300? 1350. And hopefully they'll make it so we can store enough so we can make my house... <laughs> I feel like that's the bad political move, right? Oh, our happiness is going up with a lot with most people, not with the nobles, though. I feel like that's, that's kind of a tone-deaf political move. I know you're not dying no more, so time for me to improve my fancy house. I mean, it's not going to stop me from doing it. Why don't we... Connect these roads. That seems pretty cool. 
it doesn't really seem necessary. They don't really travel by roads. It's not like um, Tropico where they tend to travel by roads. But it looks nicer. Oh, wait, there's still a dead guy. All right, there's still dead people from the plague. The plague is gone, but the plague victims are not. I guess we need... It's too bad we don't have second shift. We need people to work overtime to take care of that. How is the case going on Dark Magics? They're investigating the so-called medium who's been scamming people. Oh, we're starting to get some grain in here. We need more, though. We're getting... <laughs> I'm leaving the housing thing going, which is probably a bad idea, because once we get bricks, I think we can start building better houses once we research them. <laughs> so I'm just like, sleep on the ground, you bourgeois folks, and you're... Nobles. Oh, even some of the workers. Oh, another robbery. I think the police station is, uh... I guess we could do... I guess we'll have to do... Oh, that's not really the train station. We're going to do an anti-corruption thing on the train station because there's a bunch of corruption there let's clear out one of the last husks in fact i think those are the last two husks of houses from the war we saw that last time night robberies crime of the nobility in a rich district several wealthy people have been assaulted during the night while returning from the cabaret the cabaret owner, <laughs> the establishment operates late, and by the time it closes, many patrons can barely stand. No surprise they end up as victims of assault. It's very suspicious. You should seem sympathetic, I think. The Rob Noble, oh, a gang of ruffians attacked me, he says. They dragged me into an alleyway and stripped me of everything. I asked them if they wanted my clothes, and they said no, which made me sad. Um, we will make this a top priority. Because I think the other crime is a non-violent one that we're investigating. Yeah, the scam stuff. This is a violent crime, so that's going to take precedent. Oh man, those nobles really don't like me. What a bunch of dickheads. But they're the only ones who can do the like important jobs in town. Like work at the hospital, run the tax office. So i got to keep the nobles somewhat happy. Unless there's a way to eventually change that. Where we don't need them for those jobs. Ooh, research wagon is completed. Good deal. Oh, I would love sanitation, but let us get... Do we get mansion? Cafe? Let's get a brick house. This should be for workers. Maybe that'll solve the fire problems we've had. Get some better houses for the workers. Oh crap, I was supposed to upgrade my house first. Hopefully they appreciate that I put them first. Oh, well, someone got injured at work. Somebody else died of disease. It might be because of the, the food inf affliction. Yep, those, well, those are all cured too now. Oh, I guess there's regular disease. Any of these places need to be re... Fixed up? No, they're good. What's that mean in the middle? The warehouse is full. Oh, we need enough. We only have room for one more warehouse. Prison break! Yeah, that's alright. Let him go. Who's this guy? Oh, I need wood. I'll pay well for it. Yes. We will give you wood for money. Because our warehouses are full anyway. We can only build one more small warehouse. Whale house? Where are there be whales here, Captain? Uh, we will have that store materials, I guess. An arms dealer murdered. Somebody call Hercule Poirot. An owner of an arms manufactory. Arthur Revenge. All right, this sounds as crazy as like Mr. Body has been found dead in a park. The cause of death is asphyxiation. Hot ass. The dead body was covered in gold coins. Random witness. 
says, I was walking with my husband, and it was late one night. This better not be the monster mash. Oh, I mean, it's not. In the park, when I saw him lying on the ground, I almost fainted. The policeman says, <laughs> it's like a scene say, Don't crowd and stop trying to pick up the gold. All items should remain in their place until the investigators arrive. It's a murder? <laughs> I'm afraid I bear ill news, gentlemen. He's like the head of police or whatever. Arthur Revenge, an arms manufacturer, has been murdered in the park today during his walk. Oh, what? Arthur's been murdered? How'd that happen? The investigators are still establishing all details. It looks as though the assassin waited for him behind a tree. Hmm. I wish he would have left him alone. Oh. <laughs> no. He was my friend. Oh, and at an opportune time, assaulted him with a dagger. Oh, I can't believe this. How could Mr. Revenge die at the hands of a common street robber? I can assure you, <coughs> this was not a robbery. The murderer covered his body with good coins, even putting one in the dying man's mouth. We have already launched an investigation. So you're saying it's revenge? Hey, what is there to investigate? Revenge made a fortune on military contracts. His factories provided the army with ammo and equipment. Well, what are you getting out, uh, Viscount? Large-scale embezzlement. Like the noble class does? I'm onto you, dipshit. I've never seen such shoddy quality in equipment before. So, uh, that is why you cannot protect the country? The officers were truly inconvenienced by tight uniforms and short pants? I'm starting to think, Mr. Rockwell, that's what you want to see, or Rockwell. Because you're always talking about ladies and stuff. I want my uniform hot pants. Arguing will not help the matter, gentlemen. My intuition rarely fails me. Judging by the nature of the crime, more matters will follow. Too sweet. What's sweet? Uh, we, we must take urgent action to prevent this. I am sure there are innovation projects in the academy that can increase police department efficiency. You're saying you want me to start a secret police to start in, spying on people and kidnapping people. I don't like that. Oh, all, all this takes time, which we don't have. I propose uh, to hire a private detective for this investigation. I know the right person who I trust completely. Let's not waste public money in vain. Justice must be the same for everyone. How are we going to find out who did it, Jack? Increase police efficiency or hire a private detective. Huh? Private investigation. Gator event. Here comes the private investigator. Jonathan Rockwell offers to involve a private detective in this investigation of the mysterious killer. Jonathan, knowing our police, I'm afraid this investigation will last for a long time. Fortunately, I have a familiar specialist who can help us expose the killer. The detective bows and takes off his hat. My respect, Mr. Mayor. I've been doing private investigations for several years. I can provide assistance in solving this case for a reasonable reward. I'm going to hire him. He gives us three clues. And that costs that cost us a fair amount of money. But if there's a murderer on the loose, we need to get on top of that. The detective comes back with information. The killer inflicted only, or inflicted only one knife blow right in the heart. An ordinary person can't do this. Such technique can be learned in the army scouting units. I believe the killer might have a military past. Interesting. Or he's a doctor. If he's a doctor, then he's definitely a noble. Um, our officer thanks him. Thank you for your help. We will explore the information about the serviceman of scout units. I hope this will help us follow the trail of the murderer. As you can see... A private initiative is able to solve problems that are out of reach of the inefficient state institution. I was with you, Rockwell. You don't come in and say, I told you I was right, to the one guy who believed you. Eh, too bad it, it always works for the good of money bags. Common folks get nothing from it. If less people are getting murdered, it's good, Jack. And would you like to get everything on a saucer, right? Is that what you want? It doesn't work that way, bitch. Quality life must be deserved or earned. I don't know. No. So the arms dealer case has become case numero uno. The night robberies crime is going to have to be number two. And dark magic gets pushed to the back. 
That's the way life is. That's why the cops can never find your bicycle. <laughs> they got more important things to deal with. Uh, another thing is increased police efficiency. How do we do that? Is there corruption in the police department? There is! We're going to start routing out crime in the police department. This is all hands on dick. I mean, deck type situation. They got the dead people cleared out yet? Oh, they did! Kalu Clay, what a glorious day! The dead are finally pulled out. Ooh. What was the last law we did? Printing, I think? Uh, we could do a secret service? I don't want to do that. Investigates gangs and secret societies? Oh, man. It, that's just, it becomes a really dark path there. We're going to ignore that. We're going to allow second shift. We're probably not going to do that. Is because second shift will get us down to political parties, which will open up advanced acts. At some point, we might need second shift. I really don't want to use it. That's where you can pay people extra to work at night. That may give us some options we may eventually need. Oh, fuck. I forgot to upgrade my place. we got to get more wood for that. We're getting money coming in, though. We are very profitable. Bull. Ching, ching, chung, ching, ching, ch ch ching. I know your human language and your money sounds. That's me. Oh, weren't we researching? Oh, we're researching a brick house right now. Let's see, I thought we were researching some bars. Oh, man, the nobles are not happy. Hopefully they don't try and lead a revolution. That would be all kinds of bad. Our grain levels are really low, too. Oh, the train's broken. Great. I hope y'all like not having food. <laughs> just don't look at these people here. Just, uh, just ignore them. I wonder why the nobles are unhappy. <laughs> just because plenty of them don't have houses to live in, and there's... Only about half, a little over half of them have jobs. Can we see how this case is going? Okay, the anti-corruption push is making progress. This case is going slow, though. We only have 5 to 25 clues. I'm kind of glad we paid for that private investigator. Because three of those clues came from the private investigator. Get up, you losers, and go walk! Man, even the cops don't have anywhere to live. What life, sleep, eat, work, and nothing in between. Nowhere to gather, drink a pint or two, and have a nice chat. We, there's one at Ale House. You might have to wait three years to get a seat, but it's there. Oh, the anti-corruption push is almost done at the police department. Hopefully that'll increase the speed at which the um, crimes get solved. Look at all the people we have here. 200 workers? We've got to get these brick houses done. We need more jobs. Oh, we definitely need some jobs. Let's build another brick house, I guess. Brickyard. We might want to build another alcohol place, too. Guess we'll put it there. That's not really my first choice. That's how cities grow in real life, though. Such oh fuck balls. <laughs> That's that little part's wrong. I'm like sir. Perfect. Now the road goes all the way around. I want to demolish these houses, but we got to get the brick stuff going. Oh, and I still have enough stuff to build up my place. You know what? The jobs are more important. People need jobs. Oh, we finished brick house. Let us work on... Oh, we can't do any of these. We don't have enough wood. Criminalistic methods increases the speed of solving crimes. Oh, I want that, but we don't have enough wood. I guess this is the only thing we can do right now. Sanitation reduces the chance of intoxication by 15% when visiting catering or entertainment institutions. How did we not increase the police efficiency? 
We got rid of the corruption. I don't know if there's some other way to do it. Oh, we can give people amnesty? Cool. We can't execute them, though. I wonder if we can do that later on if we unlock execution. The prisons are full! Just start killing them off. Nobody cares. So we have a few problems with homelessness and other things. Oh, we should be able to start building brick houses, right? First of all, let's look at laws. Late shift allows us to add another shift. We're just going to unlock that because we're trying to get to uh, political parties. This is outrageous. We're being worked like galley slaves. But we're not actually taking advantage of that, Brosith. So if we go to residence, brick house. So a regular house, a wood house, accommodates 10 workers. A brick house accommodates 10 workers and provides 10 nutrition. Ooh, look how nice that looks. We're going to have to demolish the all the old stuff. Hopefully that will... Oops, I hit caps. That will most likely, I would hope, solve the fire issue too that we've had in the past. And in fact, how many people are homeless? 65 workers are... Uh-oh, what's this? Hostage situation! Ow. Oh. We'll kill these people unless you give us ransom money. How much ransom money? There's 11 bandits. The hostages are two nobles, one bourgeoisie, and three workers. 4,800 gold? Nah, I'll send the police. We'll do this Russian style. Everyone's probably going to die. So we'll have to... Do I speed this up? I want to see... The, there the cops are. Call for rein the police assault will begin. Assault it! Go, bro, go! Oh, it is Russian style! Oh my god, they're just shooting in! USA! Well, we're not in America. We're somewhere in probably Eastern Europe. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wait. Are those the bandits? I don't know if we have enough cops! We don't have a big police force! Oh no, and another murder. We'll come back to that in a moment. Beat them, officers! Beat them! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I don't think we have enough officers. <laughs> Come on, officers! Beat the crap out of them! Go, cops! If I click on this, can we see? No? Yeah, knock them out, bro! Look at all these dead bandits. I wonder if that's coming out of our population. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Police assault successful. Bandits arrested. One hostage was killed. Five hostages were saved. We did it! The nobles and the workers are happier about that. Let us see this. A judge murdered? A judge, Sir Romulus. What about his brother, Sir Remus? Has been found dead in the courtyard of his mansion. The cause of death was a stab wound. Wait. The other person was stabbed, too. The murderer covered the dead body with gold. We have a serial killer here. Made. Sir Romulus was a respected man in this town. He had many powerful friends. Who could have done something like that to him? The detective responds with, Again, those gold coins are on the corpse. The murderer doesn't seem intent on hiding their intentions. I'm afraid we're going to see more dead bodies. He's sending a message. Even if it's just who he is. Uh, what do you say now, Sir Stanton? First, a wealthy industrious is killed and now a judge. As far as I'm aware, he comes from an ancient noble dynasty and doesn't have anything to do with military supplies. <laughs> you can sneer all you want, Mr. Rockwell. This is, I mean, there is a serial killer in town murdering anyone they come across. A monster filled with bloodlust. A serial killer? Duh. Did you read one too many crime novels? I'm willing to bet money that we have a vigilante on our hands. Some commoner decided to act as the judge, jury, and executioner. Judge Dredd? And is now punishing rich people for their sins. Robin Hood? Eh, if so, hard to blame them for it. <laughs> Jack. How many commoners perished on the front lines? And how many broke their backs at the workshops while others lined their pockets with gold? Okay, I see what you're saying, Jack. If you're saying these guys were profiteers during the war and someone's getting revenge on them, I could get that. 
Ah, you're quite straightforward, Don. Listening to you, it all sounds so simple, like a war could be won with zealous speeches and the will of the people, without cannons, generals, or supplies. The time? This time, the murderer snuck onto a mansion's grounds. They probably, hmm, left some tracks, which could let us catch the trail. Yes, please do. Please catch that moron. But what's this? A nobleman lost a bet to a bourgeoisie. Now he's forced to walk around town in a collar and serve the bourgeois. The nobleman asked for the bet to be annulled. The gambling nobleman. I beg you, please let me avoid this disgrace. I was not in the right state of mind when I made a bet. He got me drunk. Help me retain my dignity. The son, that's long since passed. The bourgeois. Oh no, my friend. Do fulfill all the conditions. You wanted to have a laugh at my expense. But forgot that he who laughs last, laughs best. I know this is probably a bad idea because the nobles are going to be mad. And we're, if you're gonna, you can kind of see in the bottom right, we only have 51 happiness with the nobles. But the thing is, a bet is a bet. If the, other, if, if the roles were reversed, you know this noble man would force the bourgeoisie to do it, right? So the bet will remain in effect. Even though that's going to hurt our happiness... With the nobles. Oh, we got 13 out of 25 clues uh, as we research. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Enough is enough. We won't tolerate this anymore. No entertainment. Nobles protest. <laughs> the government messed with our business long enough. Um... The, their demands are entertainment. I can either send them to the cabaret, which is going to cost money and beer, or I send the police. I would love to send the police. But there's a lot of them. We will send them to the cabaret! <laughs> How about an all-expenses paid trip to the cabaret? They're, ooh, the cabaret. I like that. Oh, this is embarrassing. Right in the poor district where the workers are. The the, the the elite nobles come in. We're not entertained enough. We're not entertained enough. And I had to cave in. Like, I don't... Oh, man. You know, that's just... I can't risk that right now. If we had a bigger police force, I might need to build some more police. Should I build another station? We have, like, five cops... These employees don't seem to show up for shit. Did I do these or are these showing up for some other reason? Uh, let's build another police station. Security, police station. We're having a bit of a crime problem now. There, now we have a police station on... Or we're going to have a police station on both sides of town. I can't believe that. We're not entertained enough. I thought they were going to be mad about something else. There's a serial killer on the loose killing rich people and nobles. And that's not what they're mad at. They're mad that they're not entertained enough. And I'm like, all right, all right. Cabaret on me. Like, oh, I'm going to watch the dancing girls. Mm. Good thing I built that damn cabaret. Well, everybody, that's it for today. We've had a very exciting adventure. We've got to find out who this mysterious Avenger is. Never did upgrade the royal palace because I was too busy building better houses for the working class, which I want to do more of in the future. So much to do. I'm really digging this. Oh, man, our cemetery is filling up. Ugh, million things to do.